All right, finally, we're gonna tear into this KX250. It's been sitting in the garage for like two months now. It's been neglected, and we're finally gonna see why this thing blew up. So about two months now, if you missed the video, on the first ride of this brand new KX250, basically, after I got done building it, blew up on the face of a jump. <laughs> And I watered myself, so this thing's all tweaked up, it's blown up, it's gonna need some new bars, some new mounts, couple parts here and there, the subframe's all tweaked up, can probably bend that back, it's gonna need a few parts. Finally putting the e-bikes away for a little bit, getting back into the builds. We're gonna dabble with this today, we're gonna dabble with the 450L, get that tire back on there, go rip around on that. Tear into this thing, see why it blew up. I think it was just too lean with the Lectron. I'm pretty sure I didn't tune it. I don't think it blew up from something that I did putting the motor back together. And with the two-stroke stuff, I just actually picked up a brand new two-stroke, which one of you are gonna be able to win. I've had it for like a month now. I've been trying to film a bunch of videos with it. That way I can just release them steadily. So get stoked for that. Put your guesses in the comments what kind of bike you think it is. And if you're new, subscribe so you don't miss your opportunity to win that thing and see the content with it. Not waste any more time, get this thing torn down and see what kind of parts I gotta order up here tonight. All right, here's the damage report. Piston is smoked, which was expected. The spark plug I took out a while ago. It was white, so it was obviously way too lean. Draped out the piston, I haven't looked at the cylinder yet. Looks like the front and back of the piston got smoked. Definitely not good. Take a look at the cylinder and see what we're working with. Probably gonna have to get this thing sent out and fixed up, I'm sure. Let's see, yeah, got the cylinder pretty good. It's always something. It's always something. Along with that, we gotta get new bars ordered up. I think the mounts are fine. They just kinda got tweaked, not aligned. And I'm gonna have to get this subframe fixed up because it's definitely, it's definitely pretty wonky. Just gonna heat it up, try and bend it back the best I can. It's always a work in progress with these builds, it seems like. So, get a full parts list put together, figure out who I'm gonna send this to, get that sent out and fixed up. Probably gonna be like a month of this thing sitting here, I'm sure. Definitely not usable, so maybe like I said, send it out, or maybe I can find something on eBay, just buy a good cylinder, because I'm sure an OEM one's gonna be stupid expensive. If I can even find one and I still have them for sale, which I'll have to look later. I guess for now, we'll get this wheel and tire put onto the 450L, then we'll go ride this thing around. I haven't touched this thing all summer, I feel like. We should be good to go. Check the tire pressure, get this thing warmed up, and go rip around. All right, quickly, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, which is Foo Care Bikes. They sent me over an electric bike, so we'll get this e-bike taken out of the box and get it all built up, and we'll see what we got here. Right, about 10 minutes later we got the bike all built up that was probably the easiest bike assembly i've ever done so this is the new fucare gemini x electric bike goes about 28 i got it up to 30 miles an hour comes with some disc brakes front and rear so you're not going to have any problems stopping this thing comes with a 750 watt brushless gear hubbed motor and it has two separate 48 volt batteries so you can pretty much forget about the range anxiety because this thing gets about 80 miles of range which is nuts and of course has the option for you to pedal 
vehicle if you were to run out of battery. Looking on the batteries, it only takes about four to six hours to completely charge it. The Gemini X has a super sturdy frame. It has this fancy LCD screen on the front, which sets it apart from some other e-bikes on the market, which is waterproof, has a USB charger for your phone, along with five different modes for power. So I like to ride in power mode five, so you can just use the thumb throttle. So if you want to check out this new Gemini X, I'll leave it linked below in the description. If you're in the market for an e-bike, this is definitely the one to go with. So thank you to Food Care for sponsoring this video, and we'll get into the rest of the vlog. All right, we'll fill this thing up. Thanks to Renegade Fuel for the 110. I don't remember if this is the two-stroke mix. Nah, it looks like we're good to go. Of course, there's always something. Forgot last year when I rode it, this thing had a recall on the horn bracket actually snapping off, and mine did just that. So just dangling around by the wire harness. Little zip ties will get me fixed up for now. All right, two zip ties, we're good to go. It's a little floppy, but it's fine. thought about selling this thing recently because i haven't ridden it in so long but just to maybe get something different maybe just get a cruiser but this thing's just too much fun when i do ride it that i can't get rid of it and i know i'm gonna regret it if i do for sure i probably wouldn't buy another supermoto for a while One of those things that you don't use too often but when you do you have a good time and it makes it worth it to keep it 